hello, hello everybody. It's Lauren from the Joyful Johnsons coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today, I want to talk about a very commonly asked question when you're moving to Costa Rica, particularly if you are building a home, buying a home, moving here permanently, and you need to pay your own utilities. So today's video is gonna be a walkthrough of what are the different Costa Rican utilities that you need to pay and how do you go about paying them? Because it's very, very different from many other parts of the world. It has its own unique system. So today I hope to help you out in that way. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel for more living in and travel to Costa Rica videos. So if you are new to our channel, my family and I have lived in Costa Rica for almost two years and we love sharing our journey um, of living in Costa Rica here with you. Today, let's talk a little bit about those utilities. Today, we're gonna to talk about the water utility, the electric utility, and your internet. Those are your three main utilities that you will need to pay if you are buying a home or if you have built a home. Now, first off to say, if you are renting a property in a condo complex or you're renting a home from a landlord, more often than not, the landlord's going to pay those utilities for you. But sometimes they do ask for you to pay your own. So we hope this video will be helpful because this was really confusing for us when we first moved to Costa Rica almost two years ago. So first, let's talk about the water asada. I'm gonna change video over here to show you my husband Justin paying at the water asada the other day. So here we are at the asada. The asada is what they call the water utility service office. We live in Junquial, and you can see here, this is the Asada for Paraíso and Junquial. So all the people in our local area go to this building to pay their water utilities. All you need to do to pay your bill here is to bring cash with you. Again, they're not going to take any type of credit or debit card. You walk up to the office, sometimes there's a long line, sometimes it's not. You give them your contract number, and then you pay your bill, and you're ready to go. Now second, let's talk about your utility bill. Depending on what part of Costa Rica you live in, you may have a different electrical provider, but ours is Copa Guanacaste. So Copa Guanacaste, people call it COPE for short. Um, you can pay in person at any of the Copa Guanacaste locations. For us, there is one in Santa Cruz and there's also one in Waukes. And so depending on where we are, sometimes we pay in person there. You can also pay online with a Costa Rican bank account. So if you have a Costa Rican bank account, you can pay online with your contract number. Depending on what bank you use, you'll choose the option to pay for services, then electricity, then your provider, and then your account or your contract number. So that's a really easy way. Now, obviously, if you do not have a Costa Rican bank account and you don't live here full time, that means you are going to need a property manager or someone here to pay those bills for you if you can't be here in person to pay them in cash. So like my husband and I, we manage three properties here in our little community in Junquial. We take care of that for our clients for them because the ones who live in the United States don't have a bank account of Costa Rica, so they cannot pay online. Um, there's also some other local stores that you can pay your utility bills in. Um, for instance, Goyo is a popular store that some people pay their service util utility services at in person. Um, and there's other pharmacies and other places that will have a sign outside, Pago Servicios uh, Aquí, which means pay your services here. So again, you're just going to need your contract number and then most of the time they only take cash. So be advised if you're here and that's a new thing for you, most of them do not take credit card payments. Um, they prefer the cash. And last but certainly not least, we have the internet payments. So luckily for us, our internet provider and our electrical provider are the same. They are both with Copa Guanacaste. And so again, you can pay that in person at any Copa Guanacaste location. You can also pay them at the Goyo store and other places that advertise outside that you can pay your service utilities at that store. Um, now, again, if you're gonna be paying online, the only way currently that is functional for you to pay online is if you have that Costa Rican bank account. You would choose to make your service payment, choose uh, TV or cable. So the TV or cable for us, we have an account with um, BCR, Banco de Costa Rica, 
and we can pay online in that way. We choose um, pay for the services, TV and cable, then we choose Copa Guanacaste and we put in our internet contract number to pay it that way. So that wraps it up. Big takes, takeaways are, it's really hard to pay your utilities online unless you have a Costa Rican bank account. Cash is always king. And if you're not living here full time, you're probably going to need a property manager or someone that you trust to make those payments for you. So your services don't get cut off because it's happened to us before when we forgot to make a payment when we first moved here. And when they come and cut your water or they cut your electric, it takes a long time for it to get turned back on. So always make sure you stay on top of those payments so that your service doesn't get disconnected because it's not a pleasant experience. If you have any experience paying your utilities in Costa Rica and you'd like to share them in the comments, please do. If you have any specific questions about living in Costa Rica or utility service payments, please put them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you. And thank you again for subscribing to our channel and we will see you for our next episode.